Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD, pound US dollar. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my channel for the analysis of other pairs. So, let's get started. So, this is the 4 hour chart of GBP USD in front of us right now. As you can see, I have got few lines here on the chart. So, Let's try to understand what is cooking on the chart of GBP USD or let's do the analysis first. As we all know, dollar was extremely volatile yesterday after the PMI report. This is the chart of US dollar and you can see that it was in downtrend and after the PMI report, it was a good one and dollar started going up. So my dear friends, again we have got NFP report coming up tomorrow because Tomorrow is the first Friday of the month and on every first Friday of the month, the NFP report is released. So NFP report is also one of the most crucial market driving report that is extremely important for all the Forex traders. So if you are not aware of these kind of um, driving factors, then I'll request you to go to my website avilashhazarika.com okay, avilash and under Forex 101 section, you will find the economic calendar and my dear friend if you want to become a serious forex trader then you must consult the economic calendar once you come down to the economic calendar here then you can see that these uh, we have got retail sales coming up after nine minutes but the impact is slow so not required just do one thing go to more just uncheck the buttons and just select the high impact one and click on save and you can see that we have got BOE asset purchase facility coming up after 6 hours 9 minutes. Then we have got a BOE MPC vote cut coming up after 6 hours 9 minutes. And if you want to for know further about this, then if you just click on here and you will get to know what is the deal. So my dear friend, from today onwards, please make it a habit to open the economic calendar in the morning and just check out what are the uh, market driving news or reports coming up for that particular day anyways let's jump to the chart of GBP USD here so this is the chart of GBP USD and as you can see right now market is trying to go up here and I have drawn a trend line here but I am not sure about this trend line. I'm not very much convinced because see if we consider this as a first touch here this is the first touch then this is only the second touch and Still, we cannot consider this trend line is a, as a very strong support for the market because see, we do not have any past history of this trend line because this is only the second touch. Therefore, we cannot consider this as a valid or strong support for the market. Rather, market is trying to bounce from this particular level here. And above, we have a trend line here. After two touches, we can hope that this trend line will act as a resistance for the market and if we just look at the overall picture of the market here then the market looks very very confusing here because we do not have any safe position to enter here right now because see it looks like a symmetrical triangle pattern okay it looks like a symmetrical triangle pattern and in a symmetrical triangle pattern we should only go for buy once market crosses this resistance so if you want to go for a buy here then you can go for buy here but the my dear friend just keep in mind that things are not very clear right now and if you and if you also think that this is a symmetrical triangle pattern because market is forming um, lower uh, lower highs here and here we are kind of getting higher lows here so it looks like a symmetrical triangle pattern then there is a possibility that market will be crossing this resistance and if market crosses this resistance you can go for a buy once market crosses this level on the other hand apart from these two lines you can see that i have also got a line drawn here this support level belongs to the weekly chart and i have already spoken about this level that this level is the most strongest and the most important level on the chart of pound usd You can see that 
whenever market came down to this particular level market got support and market is still respecting this level as a valid support therefore if there is a sudden selling pressure in the market in if market starts falling then we can hope that this uh, the weekly support will be the crucial for the market and will provide the required support to the market therefore my dear friend i will not talk about these two lines but i'll request you to mark 1.3756 mark this level in your tra trading platform or please draw this line in your trading platform because this level is extremely important in case there is a sudden selling pressure in the market this level will provide the support to the market okay so this level is extremely important for you and if we go to the forex sentiment meter here we can see that 69 percent retail traders have taken short position and 30% retail traders have taken long position. Again, you will get the same sentiment meter on my website avilashazarika.com under Forex 101 section. So retail traders are thinking that market will be going down, whereas uh, only 30% retail traders are thinking that market will be going up. And as we all know, 90% retail traders mostly lose money. So still there is a possibility that they will be losing the money again because if we go to dollar dollar index uh, chart here then as we all know it has got a direct impact on the forex market and if dollar starts going up then GBP uh, USD starts going down and if dollar starts going down then GBP USD Euro USD starts going up and right now you can see that yes after the PMI report dollar was bullish but right now DXY or the US dollar is just standing at a resistance because if you also do the analysis in your charting platform then also you can see that the dollar index is just standing at the resistance right now and this trend line is acting as a valid resistance for the market therefore in case dollar starts falling from here due to this resistance then definitely we will see some good upside or buying pressure or buying i'll say buying in the GBP USD chart so considering the chart of US dollar also you can go for a trade right now and if you want to go for a safe entry then you must wait for the market to cross this level considering this as a symmetrical triangle pattern and go for a buy when market will cross this level okay so first entry level is right now you can go for an entry go for an entry considering that dollar will be going down because it has got direct impact and we all know it pretty well and you can also wait for a market to cross this level this trend line above considering this is a symmetrical triangle pattern or just wait for the market to give you a proper direction if you are not convinced with these trading opportunities to be honest i am not very much convinced with the trading opportunities right now because i prefer to be stay on the safer side because i prefer to take trades on levels where we have got good support or good resistance and right now i do not see anything so personally i'll avoid but from the um, aspect of technical analysis i have explained the trading opportunities for you available right now so again i will be saying that please please consult this uh, consult this economic calendar every day do not miss this economic calendar please so this is it uh, hopefully you have understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see ya tomorrow again